This is Haywire Foundry on hard difficulty. Sweltering heat in these tunnels is almost unbearable. Can you give the hireling fire resist? Such a place? Hopefully he won't uh, swim in the lava again. He always likes to do that. An earth elemental rises from the ground. So even with the uh, 20 resist, um, he was taking some damage. Next level, when we run this on Elite, I'll actually have 30 resists because I'll be level uh, 11 Paladin, which ups my resist to 30. Locks into place and the gate opens. I'm gonna hear call him over now. Clockwork gears winding so down. A warforged worker beckons to you from inside Give the gate. Give me some shut. Haywire spared no expense in keeping his secrets. Hear someone clearing his throat. You see a slimy leech like creature crawl out from under RC2's body and worm its way down into the floor. Yeah, these cleaves are really nice, uh, having all these cleaves. Alright, so now I'm going to try to get my, my uh, Reaper process down with this build. And so is there a trap behind there? Hmm. Anyways, I'm going to have my Hireling parked here so he doesn't take tra trap damage. Run up to this level. Yep, I think there's a trap right before that that actually I... Uh, Hmm. Uh, you know what? It's actually the next level, right here. If we start running into problems where we can't see a trap, I do have an insightful search item in my inventory, which I'm not using yet. I haven't need to use it, but uh, I will if. Let's see if I missed another trap. Last quest, there was one here. It's not here this time. So it appears that there's at least some randomness. So I'm going to go down and um, see if I see any trap boxes with my spot. Still got my skill bonus on, so I do not. So uh, that's interesting. So there's three trap boxes this time. We ran it last time, there was four. I had never seen that other fourth trap box. I wonder if for some odd reason that's only on normal. There's one here on, nor on normal. Or it just has a really high DC and we're able to see it on normal. But I, I'm not seeing any traps going on, so I don't think we missed anything. Yeah, you can see they're using uh, my shield clickies going off. They're using magic missile. So uh, the engine, I believe that's the engineers using that. Yeah, so that triple key is pretty much single taking out uh, mobs on hard. I don't think it may not a reaper, but these guys have a decent amount of hit points even on hard. Sleep spell. Yeah, it's not something you see too often, but that's a pretty long duration—ten seconds. 
Looks like I made my save. So my will save's not the best. Um, it's not too bad because that also gets a boost for my charisma. But that is my weakest save right now. So uh, next level we'll get. Yeah, you know, I, I gave up a plus one save to um, increase my tier five Knights of the Chalice. Max that out, and uh, we'll get that back next level. gate lever locks into place. A freak power surge shorts out the storage area's energy barriers. So it looks like my shield quickie just uh, timed out. So we're going. Okay, now that's super interesting. So I guess the reason I saw it before is this trap doesn't show up until you go back. So that trap box was not there initially. So that's interesting. And it's also after the trap, just like all of these are. And if you don't disable this trap here, uh, if you're not a trapper, for example, what happens is if you don't disable it, the floor falls through. But if you stay to the right here, there'll be like a ledge to climb on. So if you don't, if you don't have a uh, trapping skills, you just want to basically get that ledge. The right, uh, the very far right side. Sleep again. Interesting spell. And this one, you just have to sort of kind of know it. I usually jump, and then when it falls, make sure I land on the right spot. But it's kind of not right to the far left, but it's on the left side. So I have a rough, pretty good feel for it just from running it before. But usually when I get over the spot, I just start jumping, and then uh, make sure I land on the right spot.
slip away into the shadows. There's always this trap here under this staircase. It's not the most deadly of traps, but might as well get it for the trap bonus and So after all that, I forgot to pull the lever. <laughs> so, so I disabled the trap and jumped down before pulling the lever. Uh, I haven't done that in a while, but... into position, opening one of the north wing gates.
again, we just need to make this uh, this symbol here above match the rune arm or the the rune the rune wheels to the left and right of the rune or of the rune in question. So change these both to the what looks roughly like an H to me. And then we set the rune, all the runes on the pillars here to this symbol. Alright, and so now we just rinse repeat. Look, we can't run turn this one at all now. It's locked until we change the left and right runes to match the symbol. Yeah, these these ooze will all actually disappear as soon as you complete the puzzle, so. Uh, you don't actually have to fight them if you don't want, if they're not bothering you too much. And now I need to turn the wheels to match this symbol. And you hear that sort of unlock. By the master control room key, just where Haywire said it would be. A turn of the key. So, before pulling the lever, you want to do any buffs that you have. Uh, it's not, it's sort of timed. It's not really, really timed, but do any buffs that you have, and uh, of course, help your jump skill if you have it. I generally there's some of the traps can be disabled, and some can't. So I generally just don't worry about the traps. The lever is blocked. A toneless voice echoes through the foundry. And we have a good jump, so this is pretty easy for us. It's tougher for, if you don't have a good jump skill, it can be a little bit tougher, but it's still, even with like a 10 or a 15 jump skill, you should have no problem with this. Uh, you just have to be a little more precise with your jumps. I mean, I think even below 10 you could really do it, but best to get a jump. It's just easier with a jump skill. So you might as well get that jump skill. And all the resists here are good. The, you know, at, mo mostly acid. I think there's some fire. Yeah, there's definitely some fire. So acid, fire. Here's poison. I think that was the one that could be disabled, but I just skip it. In a party, you probably want to disable that one. Four minutes until self-destruct. So if you are if you are uh, in this quest when the self destruct goes off, you have plenty of time. But if you are for some reason in the quest, you will you will die. But uh, I know you're running for your life, but this even is clearing all the enemies, I never have a problem with this timer in here. As soon as I see someone reach the exit, I'm gonna count to 20 and seal the blast door. That's the blast door there. But you wanna make sure... You wanna make sure you get over here pretty quickly because there's gonna be this fire... Rumbling thing that happens, and I'm not sure the timing on it, but I just always try to get here as quick as I can. And you don't wanna fall down here, there's no way back up. This takes you down to the fire. 
Well, I'm gonna go back here for now, so since we got that fire thing coming. Hit it with my, oh, my bow's missing. Once that's done, then you can get it. Hmm, I can't reach it, so let's have, attack it. There we go. I need to, after this, get my, get my bow. I sold it, it's probably already, uh, out of the um, sale, so I have to get my old one back or a new one. Haywire gestures to the glow. You feel powerful elemental energy course through your hands. A spellcaster might be able to channel. And that's power. Haywire Foundry on hard difficulty.